Welcome back to Sentimental Pastimes. My name is Cheryl. This is day three of the Five Days of Easter 2022 collaboration event sponsored by Dear Julie Julie and Kara Brandon Creations. These are the two pages we'll be working with today. This is from Julie, Dear Julie Julie. She has some gorgeous, gorgeous vintage images here. I love this. Well, I love them all. They're all just beautiful. And they coordinate so nicely with her additional kits that she has available in her Etsy shop. And then this is Kara's sheet that we're to work with. Again, some beautiful images. I love these. So pretty. I have made up some things that I'd like to share with you using these two sheets. So the first thing I have is using this image and this image from Julie. I made these little writing boards. This is a cutting board that you can get at the Dollar Tree. They're just plastic, clear, like frosted cutting boards. I use those for my planners. You can cut planner covers for them, which are, you know, they work very nicely for that. But I cut out a piece to put over this image. And I put a piece of lace across, well, I stapled, stapled it on there, put a piece of lace across and a couple pearls. And what I'm going to do is put this in my journal and then I can take this and put it under something that I have attached to one of the pages so that I can have something to write on. You know, something hard to write on, so a uh, surface so that I can, um, you know, write in the journal very easily. So that's the bigger one. And then I also made a smaller one in case the, what I'm writing on, you know, is a little hard to get to. Same thing, I put this over the image, stapled it on there and then put a piece of lace with a couple pearls. So those are the first things. I also made this. This is from the day one or day two, I can't remember, from Kara. And I put Julie's little chick, one of her little chicks on there. Some, a rose sticker that I had. I used the stamp that is on Julie's sheet and put a little piece of book page back there and a little piece of lace. But my thought for this was to put a corner tuck so that I can put this in the journal. So I made this to hold this. So I thought that was really pretty. So I also made from Kara's two pink sheets here, I just cut them and then I folded it. I didn't cut down here. I just cut it out like, like this and then folded it. I put a date here with a piece of lace and this is this image. This bunny is from Julie's um, additional kit and this little is from Julie's. It's a little guest check. So I cut that out and inked it up and then I can tuck it right there. And on the inside, I used these. I put one on each side. The rabbits are kind of facing each other, so I thought that was that was very nice. And then I cut out a couple of Julie's. Um, she had these little beautiful vintage egg shaped, so I took out parts of those and put them at the top. So now I have writing space on both sides. And if I don't attach it, I can write on the back as well. But, and I put a little, um, I had some crystals left over from my diamond painting, so I've used some of those in my, um, every, every piece has a little bit, a little piece of bling on it. Next, I took this image here. I folded it in three. I will attach this part, the back part, to the page. Put a little piece of ribbon with a little little rhinestone there so that you can pull it. And here is the, 
This is from Kara's sheet right here. And I rounded the corners so it kind of made it scalloped. And I can write on the back. Now, if I attach this down to the page and I'm writing on the back here, that is what this is for. I can put this under here and I can have something to write on instead of writing on top of this little, um, you know, the, the uneven page. I can put this on here and then write on it very easily. So that's just a little accordion pull thing. I love this little chick. <laughs> that's Is that the same little chick that's on the... Yeah, I think it is. See? The same little chick that's on this, this piece. I also took the final um, folder that I didn't use from day two from Kara and I cut cut it in a arch shape and put one of Julie's uh, roses fussy cut out of there and this image from Kara's sheet from day three a pink pearl and it's a nice writing spot and then I made this this is from this and this little piece of bling to tuck it in. So I thought that was really pretty. And as a companion piece, I also made this. This was a file folder. So the other side of this where it folded, I took and I put this image on it. A little pink pearl, more of Julie's roses. One of, another one of these, and that's that's a companion to that. I was thinking to put to put both of them in here, but I, I just don't. That's too much. So I'm just going to put this one in here. And then on another page, this is one of Julie's cutouts, too. I fussy cut this little girl. So I'm planning on gluing her down on two sides to make a tuck, and I'm going to just insert that one in there and it looks like she's looking up at the chicks. So these two pieces will be sister pieces in the journal. And the last piece I made is a page. No, 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 it's not the last piece. I'm sorry. So this image here. I was telling you about the little egg-shaped ones with the little archway banner. This is one of them. So I took this image here and I fussy cut that out and I cut right along here. Not all the way, just a little bit to make a little tuck. And then I put one of the stamps that's also on the page. A little piece of lace, a little bling. And you can journal on this side and then just tuck it down in here. And I, uh, my husband, I was showing him, <laughs> he said, oh, it's like an egg, and then you hatch out a, a chick. <laughs> I said, I didn't even realize that. So it's like you have an egg, and when you remove it, you've got a chick. <laughs> so that, that little piece I really like. Now the last thing that I made is a page for my journal. And I did this. I took this belly band from day two from Julie, put a little bling on the butterfly. I put the Hello Spring that is on um, one of Kara's pages. I thought it was on this one, but it's not. But it, she has a Hello Spring in a round. So I put that there. And then I put a little piece of raffita on there. So it's a little journaling spot. This is this image, and it tucks right down in there. I had this sticker that says Easter, and then I used some more of those flowers. So this will go into my journal. This page is from Kara in her additional kit. So from these two pages and a few other items, I have this page for my journal and this ephemera I have this little piece 
I have these two companion pieces. I have this little booklet. I have this little accordion pull. And these two writing boards with the corner pocket for that one. So that's what I made for day three. So thank you very much for visiting with me again. Um, linked below are all of the collaborators who are participating. We're all using the same image sheets, see the different things that we can come up with. There are 25 other ladies linked below, so take some time if you're so inclined and go visit with them. Give them a like, a subscribe if you like their content, and check out the Etsy shops for Dear Julie Julie and Karen, Kara Brandon Creates. They are linked below as well. These kits are available there. The Five Days of Easter collab kits as well as some additional kits that they've come up with that coordinate with them. So all of that you will find linked below. And I'll be back for day four next Wednesday. And until then, happy journaling.